Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll find limit of a function which involves absolute function. Question is to evaluate limit when x approaches 2 for x square minus x minus 2 divided by absolute value of x minus 2. Now, whenever you have absolute function, we need to redefine it and then find the limits. Absolute x minus 2 could be written as a piecewise function. It is x minus 2 for x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 or x greater than or equal to 2. Perfect. And it is negative of x minus 2 for x less than 2. That is how this function is defined. Correct. Always to begin with, what you can do is substitute 2 here. So if I substitute 2, what do I get? 2 square minus 2 minus 2, right? Divide by absolute value of 2 minus 2. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. We get 0 over 0. So it's an indeterminate. Indeterminate means that there is a common factor in both numerator and denominator. So the strategy here will be 2 factor. And cancel that common factor. Perfect. So, so we can rewrite this question as limit x approaches 2. Product of minus 2, sum of minus 1. So this quadratic equation can be written as x minus 2 times x plus 1 divided by absolute value of x minus 2. Since x minus 2 is a piecewise function, we'll actually solve this limit in two different pieces. One, when x is greater than or equal to 2 and the other when x is less than 2. Now if x is less than 2, absolute value of x minus 2 will be written as negative x minus 2, correct? So the question changes to limit x approaches 2 and what we have here is when we are approaching from the left side, right, we have x minus 2 times x plus 1 in the numerator. How the denominator will be minus of x minus 2 is okay. But when you are considering from the right side, correct, this is from the right and this is from the left side, is it okay? So from the right side, it is going to be equal to limit x approaches 2. You can say 2 plus, right? This is 2 minus. From the right side, it is going to be numerator the same. However, denominator will be x minus 2, right? Now we can simplify this. Let's do the left side first. Limit. x approaches 2 from the left side. Here we get minus of x plus 1. And if I substitute 2 here, what do I get? I get minus of 2 plus 1, which is minus 3. On the other hand, this could cancel out, correct? It cancels out. In that case, we get x plus 1 and a limit. I'm, I'm sorry, I should have written limit. x approaches 2 from the right side. So if I substitute 2 here, I get 2 plus 1, which is 3. So you can see from here that the limit from left side is not equal to the limit from the right side, correct? So let me rewrite this. So we say limit x approaching 2 from the left side for the given function is not equal to limit when x approaches 2 from the right side for the same function. Therefore, limit does not exist. Is it okay? So limit does not exist. So in this question, the answer is that the limit does not exist, right? So that is how you should be solving it. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.